Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about what is pterodontism in the most simplified form. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button just below. Let's start now. Pterodontism is a condition that affects the pulp chamber. Only two features that you can distinguish it from any other clinical condition. Having elongated pulp chamber and short roots as well. The most exciting feature for this condition is that the patients will not complain of any pain. It's just like a normal tooth with a normal pulp, with a normal dentine and etc. The main cause behind this condition is genetics. It plays an important role. Most commonly affected teeth are molars. By the way, which molars? They are the permanent molars are affected. But in the picture, rarely you can see the deciduous molars are also affected. The clinical implications. Since you have big pulp chamber, so caries can invade the pulp earlier than a tooth with a normal size. But dentists should take care while removing the caries because they might cause pulp exposure. The diagnosis is made only via taking a periapical x-ray because you need to see the pulp chamber if it is elongated or no, having short roots, which are having these two clinical features that I already said before. Since the patients will not have uh, pain with uh, pterodontism, but if they have caries and this caries invaded the pulp chamber, so uh, the only treatment in this case will be RCT, which is root canal treatment to remove the pulp from the tooth. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Please do subscribe, like for my channel in order to upload more and more videos.